taking shelter here just before I crest the hill. What an opportunity to record a short report to confirm that the wind is doing what I anticipated. It's blowing in my face as I try to ride east before I turn south and then it turns into a significant crosswind. The strongest winds this morning so far, the gusts are somewhere around 25 miles an hour. The gust happens to coincide with the truck passing me going the other way. It can get real rowdy for a couple of seconds. I'm doing the best I can to maintain a positive attitude. There's lots of reasons why I should be content. Everything that I have with me that makes the journey possible, for example, in my health, just to name two. Nonetheless, I won't lie to you, it's another hard day on the bike saddle. And the two days before it were the same. And I'm expecting two more just like it before I ride into Costa Rica. You wanna know was beginning of the love. You look so high. Just preparing to depart this beautiful eco lodge in Nicaragua, making my way in the direction of Costa Rica. I anticipate I'll be there in two days. I could be moving faster. Conditions have forced me to slow down the wind in particular, but I am happy to report this morning that there's barely a breeze. It's almost eight o'clock. And by now, yesterday, the day before, and the day before, and I'm beginning to lose track, but maybe even the day before that, it was blowing at least 15 miles an hour, and gusts were up to 30 miles an hour by about 10 or 11 a.m. So I'm super grateful to say the least. It's raining a bit. I haven't seen that for weeks. But I'll take that instead of that strong wind for sure. Making my way down the big lake, Lake Nicaragua, I believe is one of the names for that lago. I'm going to carry on down the road, make my way to a coastal community on that lake, actually, and spend one night before I conclude my visit to Nicaragua, universe willing. I close the gap from there to the border and ride into Costa Rica. Don't ever regret it, make me your only one. Choose it, don't lose it, don't let confuse it Only then you'll be gone Feel like, feel like, feel like that Just rolling out of the hotel this morning, about 7.30 Should be the last place I sleep in Nicaragua on this journey I'm about 16 miles from Costa Rica on what I hope will be pretty reasonable roads. Lots of lumps and bumps rolling into San Carlos last night on this road that I'm coasting down now. I was hoping it would be a downhill to the lake shore. Turned out to be far different than that. The climbs weren't long, but some of them were steep. I'm gonna exit on a different road hoping that one will be a little kinder but either way certainly nothing like rolling into Guatemala <laughs> I'm ready for a long break not that planting 5,000 trees will be exceptionally restful <laughs> but I'm worn out from the interactions with the road I think at the moment some frustration communication make a left up here and make my way to the main road that goes south
that was not fun. Full interrogation in Nicaragua. Remove all your things. No, it could have been worse. A million questions for the bike packer. All well understood by folks that pass through the borders between Costa Rica and Nicaragua. Trying to recall the Nicaragua side on the way in, I think it was also complicated. But that's it. I have 110 miles. Must have spent most of an hour there. But now they know I'm an innocent man, apparently. This practice of treating you like you're a criminal at the border is very difficult for me to absorb. I never get used to it. Time to reboot.